This next thing I picked up, I do not need two blush palettes, but you know, take advantage of the sale, right? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, I know I'm a little late, but I decided to go ahead and do my Sephora VIB sale recommendations video because I always talk crap about Sephora and how I hate their point system, but at the end of the day, I still shop there. They have a lot of high-end luxury brands that you can't get at Ulta. So I do shop at this time of year because they don't have that many sales. So today I'm going to tell you some of the products that I think you should pick up as well as some of the items that I picked up because I placed an order online already waiting for that to come in. And I do also plan on going to the store just to see if there's anything else that I'm going to impulsively buy. So if you want to know my Sephora VIB sale recommendations, what I think you should pick up, what I have picked up and what I'm still planning on picking up, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the details of the sale right now. If you are a VIB Rouge, which is their top tier, you get 20% off and you get to shop first. So from November 5th, through the end of the sale, November 15th. You get to use the coupon code, which is Yay Holiday Online, as many times as you want. So you can place however many orders you want. It does not matter. If you are a VIB, you get 15% off. Your shopping starts on the 9th and goes through the 15th. And then if you are a Beauty Insider, your shopping starts on the 11th and goes through the 15th, and that is 10% off. And then just since the last sale, I believe they also started doing 30% off on all of Sephora collection, no code needed, and that is for all tiers. So this sale only happens twice a year, and that's why everybody makes such a big deal out of it. And this is usually when I do most of my Sephora shopping. All right, so we're gonna start off with the products that I have already purchased and I'm waiting for them to come in. I place my order online because I always use Rakuten whenever I'm shopping to get cash back. I am a firm believer in as much money as I spend on makeup, every penny that I can save or get back counts. And right now with my credit card company, I also get 5% cash back on any purchases made through PayPal. So yes, I use Rakuten, I use my credit card, and I use PayPal. So I got 5% plus 2% plus 20% off, all worth it. So I'm just gonna go down the list and tell you guys what I picked up. These are in no particular order, it's just the way it's showing in my cart. So the first thing I picked up is the Fashion Fair Set It Loose Setting Powder. I've never tried anything fashion fair. I'm still thinking about picking up more stuff because I would like to pick up, honestly, everything that they have to see how it works. But I'm a little concerned with the shades not being able to try them on. And the Sephora Shade Finder didn't find a good match for me. The one that they picked, I think might be a little too warm. So I don't know. I'm still thinking about picking up their cream to powder foundation. Uh, but I think that's it. I picked up the loose setting powder in the shade Warm Sunrise, which is a light banana. I also picked up the Lawless Mini Forget the Filler Lip Plumper Trio. I got this because I have one shade. I just recently talked about it in my favorites. I have the shade Velvet, and I said that I wanted to pick up more, so now I get to pick up a set of three, and it's only $25. I did also pick up the Natasha Denona Retro Eyeshadow Palette. Now, honestly, this is just because I love the mini palettes. They're $65, so they're not the same price as her $129 or the $249 palettes. These do have the cream to powder shades that I like. I have the Metropolis palette. Love that eyeshadow palette. That is another one that I recommend. Um, but I don't know, this was kind of FOMO. Everybody's been talking about it. I have the Love, the Sunrise, the Bronze, and the Glam palette. So I think I'm gonna keep this one. I'm not sure, but honestly, I just wanted to see it. And I haven't been to the store, I haven't seen it in person, so that is on its way. The next thing I picked up is the LYS Beauty Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder. 
Now I have the LYS foundation. I also have the serum primer and I've been going back and forth between whether or not I wanted to pick up a bronzer or not because I already have a bunch of bronzers that I love, but I also want to support a black owned brand. So that's kind of my motivation for thinking about picking it up. Not that I really need it. They're not that expensive. So I don't know. I also picked up the triple fix setting powder in the shade resilience, which is just a translucent. That's only $18. The highlighter, I picked up the shade brave. That's $19. It's a clean brand as well. So I don't know. I know this isn't in store. So I might just go in store and like see some stuff and then come home and order more stuff. Who knows? But at this point, I'm still thinking about getting the bronzer, but I haven't pulled the trigger on it yet. I also picked up the One Size by Patrick Star Turn Up the Base Butter Silk Concealer. I picked mine in the shade Medium Four, Medium Dark Four, which is Golden Olive. I have no idea if that's gonna work or not. I I need to go in the store and swatch them to see because I'll probably end up needing to exchange it. But at this point, I just wanted to make sure that I get the discount and I wanna get stuff before it sells out. Something else that's not on this list, but I did pick up. I had all this stuff in my cart the night before the sale. I woke up at seven o'clock the next morning to check out and the Patrick Ta blush palette had already sold out. I was lucky because they had it at the Sephora nearest me in the store. So I did curbside pickup, put that in my cart, checked out and then went to the store and picked that up immediately. So I do have that. I ain't gonna lie. I picked that up because FOMO, everybody's talking about it. Looking at the palette, the shades are gorgeous. And I love the blushes. I do have, which one is it? I'm gonna put it right here. I do already have one of the blushes, the duos, and I love it. So this was FOMO. Everybody's been talking about how great it is and it won't stay in sock. So I grabbed it. This other item, I had it in my cart because it was on sale and just decided to pick it up. So I got the sale price and the discount. This is the Beauty Blender, the Leveler Pore Minimizing Primer. I got mine in the shade Tan to Deep. I'm thinking I may use this as a primer, but I may also use it just on top of my moisturizer to help even out my skin tone when I don't want to wear a full face of foundation. I'm not sure. We'll see how it works. If I love it, I'll keep it. If not, I can bring it back. You are not stuck with anything that you buy. Please remember you can bring stuff back. Even if you've tried it, if you don't love it, not the right shade bring it back or exchange it. The next thing I picked up, this had been sitting in my cart for a while. This was the Sephora Favorites Black Owned Beauty Set. Again, I did want to support more black owned brands during this sale, mostly because I have a lot of makeup. I don't need more stuff. So if I'm gonna buy stuff, I wanna support our brands. So this set comes with a Pat McGrath lipstick, um, a brand I haven't tried, Adwa Beauty, Biomint Deep Conditioning Treatment. It has the Bread Beauty Supply Hair Oil, which I heard is really good and smells great. The Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask, which I have, I think, two of those in my hair cabinet. Um, Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Lift and Curl Mascara. I already have that and I love it, but I'll take another. And then this also has the Pat McGrath Labs Matte Trance Lipstick in Omi, which I think I have a mini of. I don't know if this is a mini or a full size. I think it's a mini. Um, and then the Shani Darden Skincare Retinol Reform. I've heard great things about that brand, but I hadn't tried it. And then Fenty Skin Mini Total Cleanser Remove It All Cleanser, which I have not tried. This next item I picked up, so this is on its way, but I'm thinking when I go to the store, because I want to compare, let me tell you what this is first. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette. I have not seen any, I've only seen two videos where women of color have reviewed this palette. And I honestly started not to pick it up because the shades are so light, but there are some really gorgeous shades and the swatches on the website look good. So now it's more just curiosity. Like why are there no women of color reviewing this? Is it worth it? But then I was like, you know, maybe the naughty, I forgot the name of it, is like the darker tone version of this palette. So now I kind of want to go pick that one up too, just to compare. I've heard good things about it. So I don't have, I have Huda Beauty's mini, like the nine pan palettes. I have the khaki one, the purple one, 
And then I have one of the like burgundy shade ones. I don't remember the name of it, but do I have more than that? I used to have her original palette that she came out with and then I decluttered that because I just didn't love it. Um, and then they reformulated it but I didn't want to try it again. So I don't know, I might do a comparison with those two, but I really just want to see how the Rose Quartz palette looks on our skin. The next thing I picked up is the Fashion Fair Fabulous Face Priming Serum. Again, wanting to try Fashion Fair. I love primers, I love eyeshadow, I love foundation. That is my top three things I will always want to try if I find something new. So this one I got in the peach tinted. Actually, that's the only... Yeah, it only comes in that shade. I don't know why. It said it like there were different options. It's peach tinted, but it's for all skin tones. And it says it has a translucent finish. It's hydrating. And it says it boosts radiance, even skin tone and texture, and preps your skin for seamless makeup application. It is for normal, oily, dry combination skin. So anybody can wear it. This next thing I picked up, I do not need two blush palettes, but you know, take advantage of the sale, right? This is the NARS High Profile Cheek Palette. I just absolutely love NARS blushes and I love the shades in this palette. One of them looks like it could be more of a highlight, the nude review shade, but the others look like they could fit my skin tone and looking at the swatches, they all show up on a medium skin tone, which I kinda, well I'm a medium deep, but like for women of color, I consider myself a medium skin tone. So I really just thought it was a great value. It's 60 bucks. It says that the original retail price should be like 113, but I love NARS blushes, so I decided to pick that up. This next item was a bit of a splurge. This is the Maison Louis Marie Number no. Four Bois de Balancourt Diffuser. I picked this up because it smells like Santal 33. Y'all know my obsession with that. I have the perfume in the Maison Louis Marie. I have a candle, and then I also picked up. Um, the Centile 33 diffuser oil because I used to put that on my diffuser all the time but then my diffuser stopped working. I used Reed diffusers in my office and in my beauty room so I was like you know what when those run out now you have this one so super excited about that. I finally pulled the trigger to get some forever mood candles. I've heard a lot of great things about these candles. I love candles. I am a Bath and Body Works junkie and I've heard that these have a really strong smell. I've smelled some of the other ones in the store and they're all like really sweet, like cake, cinnamon, um, pistachio. I don't really like scents like that for candles, but I got the Candle Duo set. And this one has Sip Happens, which says it has boozy notes of chilled Prosecco infused with fruity pomegranate. I can do that. And then Floral Play, which has brilliant notes of gardenia, which I don't love, but then it says it has warm strokes of white cedar and bergamot, which I do. So out of everything that I've smelled, these sound like they will be the best ones for what I like. But again, if I don't like them, I'm gonna bring them back because this set is $72. So hopefully it'll be good because I've heard great things. I decided to go ahead and pick up one of the Beauty Blender Power Pocket Puffs. I've heard so many people talk about how great these are for applying powder here in your cheek and under eye area to help smooth everything out and make it look flawless and airbrushed. I use my Beauty Blender or whatever sponge I have and usually press my powder in that area and it does look good, but this is supposed to be also really good for if you need to touch up, which I don't have to do often. But again, this is kind of one of those things where everybody's been talking about it, so I wanna try it. I picked up also another Huda Beauty product. This is her Wild Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Jaguar. Y'all, I can't. If it's purple, if there's like hints of kind of olive, if it, this one's a little cool toned, but it just looks very different from anything else I have in my collection. And I love her nine pan palettes. They are very pigmented. I haven't gotten any of like the super bright ones or the pastel ones or anything like that. I usually just stick to what really draws me in and the color stories that I love. So of course I got the purple one. Of course I got the khaki one because that was olive. And this is leaning more towards purple. 
So it was right up my alley. So that is it for what I picked up in my first order. But yes, there are some items sitting in my cart right now. I decided to go through and look at products that are new as well as any of the gift sets that they have because I feel like those are already a great value and then you get the sale price on top of it. The first thing that I have sitting in my cart right now is the ABH Fuller Looking Dimensional Brow Set. I'm picking this up in the shade Dark Brown. It's $29. It's a $54 value because you get a full size pencil and a brow pen. I've been loving brow pens for my eyebrows and this is the pencil that is actually the bigger pencil instead of the mini, which I prefer, the brow definer. So, and it has the brow gel, the clear brow gel, which I also love. So I thought this set was perfect for me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this. I'm still just like, why is it so expensive? This is the Kerastase Chronologist Blow Dry Primer for Dull and Brittle Hair. I've said this a bunch of times, my hair is not brittle or dull or anything like that. It's not damaged, but I treat it like it is because I wanna make sure it stays healthy, moisturized, and keeps growing. So this says that it is really good. It's a leave-in cream that protects against heat damage from styling tools, reduces frizz, and locks out humidity to leave hair smooth and shiny. I have more than enough hair products but I don't tend to buy a lot of high-end hair products. So I kind of want to see like, does it make that much of a difference or is it just, you know, people want to pay for expensive things that makes them feel better? I don't know, but that's sitting in my cart. Another item I have sitting in my cart is by the same brand and this is their blow dry primer, their strengthening blow dry primer. I'm not going to get both of these. This one says that it is for, it's a leave-in spray for weakened hair that protects against heat damage and humidity, strengthens for less hair fall due to breakage from brushing. Honestly, I'm probably going to get that one and not the other one. I don't need both. And that sounds more like what I'm looking for than needing something for frizz. I don't really have an issue with that. I'm also picking up the One Size by Patrick Star Three Queens Primer, Powder, and Setting Spray. I already have the powder, I love the powder, but I don't have the primer or the setting spray. I think the setting spray just came out. So I think this is a great way to try if you don't have any of these, or maybe you, like me, you have one and you wanna try the other two. Sets like these are perfect because you get to try a bunch of products without having to pay full price for the full sizes and not know if you love them or not. Another item in my cart right now is the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lip Shine Lip Gloss and Plumper Set. This is a $34 set that is an $83 value. It has three full-size products in it. So this comes with a full-size Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Drip, Color Drip. I don't have this one, I don't think. No, it's a lip cream. I don't have any of those, so that would be new to me. Then it also comes with a full-size Milk Makeup Electric Glossy Lip Plumper. This is in clear, haven't tried that. Then it comes with the Huda Beauty Silk Balm Hydrating and Nourishing Lip Balm in Blush. This is also a full-size and I have not tried that yet, so wanna get that. And then it has the Pat McGrath Labs Lust Lip Gloss in Flesh 6, which I have a full-size and I love it, so this can go in my purse. And then the NARS Afterglow Lip Balm in Laguna. I have a NARS Tinted Lip Oil, which I absolutely love, so I thought it would be great to try this. I have another Kerastase product in my cart. I don't know why this brand drew me in. This is a leave-in cream for dry hair that protects against heat damage, nourishes, hydrates, leaving hair silky and shiny. This is the, didn't tell you the name, Nutritive heat protecting leave-in treatment for dry hair. So I may just, I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not. I'll make the decision later, but right now I'm gonna leave that one in my cart. The next thing is this Origins Ginseng Vitamin C Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. Now I'm not gonna lie, I have a box, completely unopened bottle of this in my cabinet right now. But this said new and I was like, no, it's not. I have this. Well, it's come out in different shades. So I'm going to get the shade warm, which almost looks like a peachy color. 
I love moisturizers that have that kind of peachy undertone because it helps cancel out the under eye darkness that I have, but I don't always want to put concealer on. So if my moisturizer cancels that out a little bit and then I just put a little setting powder, I think it looks beautiful to smooth everything out, but not the added coverage of a concealer. The other thing sitting in my cart is the Huda Beauty Naughty Nude eyeshadow palette. So again, I think this is more just for comparison purposes. The shades are gorgeous. I just was, at the time when it came out, I told myself you already have enough palettes kind of this color. And honestly, this reminds me a little bit of the Natasha Denona palette that just came out. So I'm probably double dipping. But again, I want to compare. So I'm doing this for you guys. I'm doing this for the channel. We have questions. We need answers. Another product sitting in my cart, this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eyeshadow and Concealer Primer. Honestly, this is just new, and if it was just an eyeshadow primer, it would not be in my cart. But the fact that it says it's a concealer primer kind of has me a little more intrigued. So I'm like, anything that can help with my under eyes not creasing or staying hydrated, looking better under my makeup, I want to try it. Another thing that I am hoping comes back in stock because right now it is out of stock is the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Light Eye and Face Palette. Does this say online only? Yeah, it's online only so you can't get it in the store. I'm disappointed but I'm going to keep stalking it because if this comes back in stock before the sale ends, I'm going to pick it up. If not, honestly, I'm Probably not. It's $125. The colors are so gorgeous. There are a bunch of duochrome shades in it. I mean, at least like 10% off something. I don't know. I have my $10 off because I have enough points. So maybe I might still get it if I can't get it during the sale. But hopefully that will not be the case. So now real quick, I just want to run through some products that I absolutely love that I think if you don't have these, you should pick up. These are items that I will pick up. If I need it, I'm gonna pick it up whether it's on sale or not. I try not to do that. That's why I buy so much when I find a sale. But these are products that I absolutely love and feel like I don't wanna be without them. So first, Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. I love the Translucent Honey, I think is the name of it, but I also love just the Translucent one by itself to set all the areas where I put my concealer. That is one of my favorite powders, so I do want to pick that up. Actually, I think I have a backup already. I'm recommending that y'all pick it up. I don't need another one, but you, sh you should definitely pick it up. I am going to try to stick to, I just realized, I'm going to try to stick to items you can only get at Sephora because honestly, Ulta has more sales and their point system is better. So if I have to choose like, oh, am I going to get this from Sephora or Ulta? If I can get it from Ulta, that's where I'm going. I just placed an order on Ulta. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer. I got the Hourglass Concealer and I got a MAC. Did I get the MAC High Shadow? No. I might've picked up a MAC Highlighter Palette. I don't remember. That's bad, I don't remember. But again, if I can get it at Ulta, I will do that before I get it at Sephora. So Sephora, I pick up stuff like Pat McGrath's or I wait for their sale. You gotta spend your money wisely. That's what I'ma say. Items that I get from Sephora, that I usually can't get from anywhere else on sale. Patrick Ta. I didn't love the eyeshadow palette. I tried it. It's nice, but it's a little too expensive. Their blushes, get them. They're beautiful. Absolutely love them. Definitely think it is worth the price. Natasha Denona. I love the eyeshadow palettes. I love her bronzer. I love her highlighters. I have her face palettes with the blushes. I did also pick up, that's another thing that's coming in, her new face palette that came out. I got it in the shade dark, so I'm waiting for that to come in. That dropped the day of the sale, which I was really surprised and also really grateful to get the 20% off. Another thing I have on my wish list that I've heard a lot about is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder No Powder. I'm kind of sitting on it because I have enough powders and I feel like I don't really need it right now. It's not limited edition. It's not going out of stock. So it might be something I'll wait until next year to pick up. But if you want a powder that is not a lot of coverage, 
that is just going to help even your skin out and give a little bit of a glow. I've heard really good things about this powder and I definitely recommend trying it. I also recommend if there are any fragrances that you are thinking about that you want to try, do it now. Fragrances do not go on sale often. They are really expensive. Some of my favorites that I've gotten from Sephora are the Versace Dylan Turquoise. That is one of my favorites right now. I just mentioned that in my favorites video. Uh, my Burberry Blush. I personally like Jo Malone fragrances, so the Peony and Blushed Suede is one of my favorites. I also like the Wood Sage and Sea Salt um, and Scarlet Poppy. I did pick that one up. Tom Ford is also on sale at Sephora right now if, during the sale, so if you want to try that. I have found two fragrances that I love, Venetian Bergamot and White Suede. Those are the only two that I love. I don't know what it is about the other ones, but if you want to try them, check the cosmetics company store first. If you can't find it there, get it on <laughs> get it on sale at Sephora right now because either way they're expensive, so get some kind of a discount. I also love Ellis Brooklyn fragrances, so I've picked up Myth from Sephora. And then Ulta started selling them, so I also picked up Fawn and Sci-Fi. Yeah, those two. So those are two that I recommend. I love those. Sci-Fi is a little different from what I normally wear, but it's still an amazing scent. I kind of want to tell you to try some Pat McGrath stuff, but at the same time, Pat has like three sales a year where her products are 30% off. So... And do you want to do 20% off now or 30% off later? If you're just itching and you want to try it right now and you want the points for later, go ahead and try Pat McGrath Utopian Dreams. Love. If you want something more wearable every day, Bronze Seduction Mothership number five is perfect. I personally love Midnight Sun, but I know that one's kind of like hit or miss with some people. Um, if you like more like blush toned kind of nudes, Divine Rose 1 for fair complexions, Divine Rose 2. If you're a little bit deeper, her blushes, her lip products, everything by Pat McGrath. Her complexion products are amazing. I love her primer. I love her foundation. I love her concealer and the under eye setting powder. Also one of my favorites. So if you're thinking about Pat McGrath, perfect time to try now with the 20% off or 15% off or 10%. If you're at 10%, honestly, wait for Pat McGrath sale. Just save yourself some more money. Something else that I recommend that I pick up every Sephora sale and I need to check my stash, Olaplex. They are expensive. It's a hair product. They have a um, their bonding oil that they just came out with. I picked that up during the last sale. I don't need another one, so I'm not gonna get that. But the Bond, no, oh, why am I going to get this wrong? It's right here in my cart. Bond Smoother Reparative Styling Cream. It's $30. I pick one of those up every sale. I need to go ahead and add that to my cart right now because I have, I think, one backup, but I use that every single time I do my hair. So I always grab one during the sale. Another brand that I suggest picking up if you want to try a high-end luxury brand, Charlotte Tilbury. I love the Hollywood Flawless Filter. That is one of my favorite products from them. I think that it just makes my makeup look so good and glowy. I don't have it on right now, but I usually wear it. I don't know. I kind of save stuff like that for special occasions because it's expensive. Her setting powder is also really good if you want to try that, if you're looking for a high-end setting powder and also her bronzer. As far as the face products go, I do have one of her blushes. I forgot the name of it. I'll put it here on the screen, but I absolutely love that. So I definitely recommend that. Also right now with the sale, any Sephora brand products that you wanna try are actually 30% off no matter what tier you are. So right now I am wearing the Best Skin Ever Foundation. This is actually my first time wearing this, even though I think I bought it right when it came out or around the sale last time. And I don't know why I never tried it. I picked up the shade, ooh, don't drop this. This is 44Y. I remember when I got it, I was like, I don't think this shade is gonna work for me. It's too yellow. 
but I still kind of think it's a little yellow, but I made it work. I think this foundation is really nice. It has great coverage. I did color correct underneath, but my face feels super matte, but it doesn't feel like dried out and tight. So I think this foundation is actually pretty good initial first impressions. So 30% off if you want to try it. I also love their Micro Smooth Baked Powder. Definitely recommend that and their Translucent Setting Powder. What else? Their lip liners are really good. I think that might be it. I do know that they just came out with a face palette that I've heard good things about. I might need to add that to my cart. I'm going to keep adding stuff while I'm talking to you guys. But I think that's it. I know this video is long. I've already bought a lot of stuff. Yes, I'm still thinking about more. I really suggest if you can go into the store. We can swatch stuff now. We can test stuff out. If you want to try high-end stuff, now's the time to do it. Get your hands dirty, play in some stuff, get matched if you can to make sure it's the right thing. But even if you're shopping online, if you order it now and it's not, you can bring it back and you don't have to pay extra if you want to exchange it. So that is it for my recommendations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know if you've been shopping. Let me know what you want to pick up. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.